a good thing it's a liquid form, because otherwise she would rattle. Where are you going? <laughs> Pretty angry. <laughs> I've sent the bailiffs to repossess your wheelchair. Thank you, Jess. Go. <laughs> Fun, is it? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Well, it's good to know their toilets are disabled. <laughs> I'm Stacy. I'm John. And this is Raw Ability, Ability Life. Life. everybody good Friday morning it is Friday <laughs> and the camera's still too low so let me put the camera up again I'm so tall it's annoying to adjust the camera uh, if it still chops it off you'll figure it out what I'm doing so yes good morning I'm just gonna do Stacy's men this morning so this morning we got a very r rude awakening by the postman and he's slamming on the door at nearly half seven, which is a ridiculous time for him to come deliver the post. I mean, banging the door loudly. Stacy got a um, parcel. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but she's excited to show you what it is. It's the one she's been talking about for days, but that's the biggest hint I'm going to give you. Just going to set up her cocktail of medications. Good thing is, is liquid form, because otherwise she would rattle. So while I'm doing this, just thinking about this, who else has a lot of medications that they take? It's also why the coffees are so important for her, because otherwise she wouldn't be able to take all of them, because she'd be sick of all of them. I try to get you wet with medication. And the important thing, you gotta make sure with with the medication, is you get all the little bubbles out of it. Well, not little bubbles, but the big ones, because otherwise she would choke on the bubbles. And that is fun for no one. Okay, because if I ask this, who wants her meds? She'll happily give them to anyone that wants to take them. You want them? Come on, take them. Come over here and take them. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, I'm having a rotten day and a good day and a rotten day and a good day. Ooh, We need to tell my friends. <laughs> we need to tell my friends in the camera what is going on. Um, you're right. Yeah. They're not in the camera. They are. They're because, the, no, no, no. They're on the other side of the camera, not in the camera. No, they are inside the camera. No, they're not inside the camera. They are. Listen, do you not watch the Fry Life with me last night? I half watched it. You fell asleep, didn't you? Yes. Oh, it was so funny. Peter. Not, not to say it was boring, just... Yeah, we really enjoy watching The Fry Life. But, and in some ways, they've encouraged me to start opening up about um, our life and, and, and my disabilities and, and things like that. But anyway, regardless of that, Peter last night was explaining about um, how he sees all these thousands of little friends or people in the camera when he talks. So, I, I, yeah, I, I, they're the very friends I, I, I in the remember, camera. I remember him saying he, he, he was he imagining 186,000 little people. In the camera? Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't really say it's an edit game, right? I, I, I know you mentioned about the, the people. <coughs> so that's why I said I'm going to talk to my friends on the camera because I thought about what Peter said last night. Yeah, I'll well, tell <laughs> alright. I'll let you have fun. It ain't fun, is it? Think of what you got me. <laughs> But yeah, no, if you haven't watched The Fry Life, do go check them out, they're pretty awesome. Um, and they kind of, kind of encouraged me and... and <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this on last <laughs> night, you had to laugh! <laughs> the problem is, I never stop laughing, I'm, I'm angry and I'm laughing, this is not right, I'm angry and I'm laughing! <laughs> Can you please um, put the camera closer to me? I need to. I need to get serious. I really need to get serious. But no, check Fry Life out. They are pretty awesome. <coughs> we watch them every night. Okay, so I am. Ah! <laughs> Do we have anywhere we can send our husbands just to get them the craziness out of them for five seconds? <laughs> I'm trying to have a serious talk here. <laughs> so stop laughing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right. But so, I do have some exciting news, but I'm sharing that afterwards because right now I'm really, really, really angry. <laughs> angry. I, I know I'm laughing but I am actually angry. I'm really annoyed um, at something. Uh, uh, yeah, very uh. And you're annoyed at it too, aren't you, yes, John? Yes, Anyhow, we booked a holiday and this one was not with the sun because normally we book with the sun because we can get really, really cheap holidays with them. However, it always still means John is doing my care. Um, and carers do need breaks. So, this particular holiday we were trying to book, we were booking it purely to give John a break from my care, but also have a proper holiday where we could be a couple. So we wrong this company, and I will tell you who in a minute, and we explained our situation. We explained that John is on a visa, so he's not entitled to any public funds, he doesn't get carer's allowance, he doesn't get anything for looking after me. And all we get is my DLA and my ESA, which is cut because I am married to John. And we explain we really don't have a lot of money. Most of my money goes on my medical equipment, my medical needs. And uh, we really couldn't afford to put much on to the holiday. Was there any way we could get funding? Because John really needs to have a break. Since he's been caring for me for the last three years, he's not had a break from caring for me. So we were looking at first at going in July. That was coming up ridiculously expensive. So the lady said, could you do March, as in March this year? Now at this point we hadn't booked to go home um, in, through the sun. But what we did explain to them is that we could not get £100 together in a month and a bit. There's just no way I can do it. So we looked at a later date and we looked at October this year. I'm thinking, okay, well, I can do that. Now when we were looking at July, the lady on the phone said to me, I had till July to pay this hundred, this hundred pounds. It was no problem. Because they asked us how much could we afford towards the holiday. And I said, well, realistically, and I'm being totally honest, I pay 45 pounds for a holiday for the sun. Normally, that's all we get. But John doesn't get a break from being my carer. And I was being honest. It's what we pay for a holiday normally. So we agreed that £100 would be the max we could afford to pay. And we were told that for the July booking we'd have to up to the Jul July to pay it. So we expected that for the October. So we booked it all up. So we knew we had to find help paying for this if we were going to give John a break from doing my care. And we're not talking a long break, we're talking a week's break for doing care for three years. It's not asking a big deal, is it? So anyhow, they gave us two different uh, grants that we could apply for. 
we have to get our dog to do, fill in the forms and everything, fine, there wouldn't be no problem with that either. Or we can get a social worker or anybody to do it. Isn't a problem or an issue with that, we'd have no problem with that sort of thing. But what we had a problem with is the thing arrived in the post and it turned around to us and said you have 14 days to pay £180 each deposit. No one told us that across the phone. No one. We were told we could pay the £100 just before a holiday if we went in the July. We assumed we had the same option for the October holiday when we moved it to October. Um, I rang them up today and I said, right, I'm a little confused. I was never told anything about having to find £180 per person, so £360 deposit in 14 days. When I'm saying on the phone, I can't get £100 together in a couple of months, which is why we can't go in, couldn't go in the March, and that's why we're now going in October. Their solution was to go away, talk to their boss, and come back and say, could you come in February? Is anybody else catching on here? I'm sure February comes before March. If I can't get the £100 before March, how am I going to get the £100 before February? By this point, I'd had enough. So I basically told them, no. I have too many hospital appointments. Cancel the holiday. To me, it just feels they are abusing disabled people. All they give a damn about is money. Money, 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 money. They are dealing with vulnerable disabled people. They are dealing with carers at their wit's ends. I would have never, ever, ever have agreed to book the holiday had I known that deposit. But what concerns me is they are trapping other disabled and vulnerable people into this. It's disgusting. It is wrong. So I am going to write a formal complaint to them because they, you know, this company is a charity and they are dealing with disabled people all the time. People who don't have a voice like I do. People who don't have the ability to speak out like I do. So I'm going to speak out on their behalf. I'm not having it. But there is some good news. My Geek Gear Harry Potter box has come! Yeah! I'm super excited about that. After that rant, I had to go and calm down a little bit. Um, but I feel it's really, really important to highlight things that I feel are wrong and um, I, I am today going to make a formal complaint to them because they are hidden charges. It's wrong and they, are, they know they are dealing with the most vulnerable people in the UK and so and they are a charity that deliberate you know that, that, that are doing it so it really is wrong and I'm going to let them know that they need to change their process because they need to inform people on the phone that that charge is there before people agree to make the booking because it's not right it is very wrong. <laughs> As I sat there doing my meds I went to, I checked my messages on my iPad and FaceTime pinged up, which we all know is my mum. And I'd messaged her earlier this morning to let her know that I was sorry I'd forgot to send her money yesterday because I crashed and burned. She lent us some money um, the other day and was, I was supposed to send it back to her yesterday, for, yesterday being Thursday. Um, and she sent me a message back and I was just in stitches, I needed that laugh because I was so annoyed. And she said, um, don't worry about the money, I have sent the bailiffs to repossess your wheelchair. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks mum, I needed that laugh. So I just rung her and told her I needed that laugh. But also today I've got a few surprises in the post, not just my geek gear. I am going to do my unboxing of that, but not in here. I will link it to here. You will see a little thing come up here for a link to see the unboxing of my geek gear because I don't know how long it's going to take me to unbox that. I'm so slow with things. Um, and I don't want it to take up my whole vlog, so you can catch it up there. But I also got a little gift from Tesco. Thank you, Tesco. Goes. <laughs> you can see I've already opened it because it was easier and quicker. Um, Tesco sent me some little things for Misty Moo. So we're going to give him some little treats today and he's got a free dindins today. And we got some vouchers to get him some more treats. So he will be one happy little boy today. And he deserves them. 
so much because yesterday I was having a really bad day and he spent all day looking after me. I also got another thing. I only paid 1p for this. Um, it's, uh, it's actually a subscription box as well, but it's a trial thing. I ordered it to try it. I wasn't sure whether I'd ever be able to eat any of these and I thought it doesn't matter if I can't because John can. And also I am seeing my sister um on the day we leave our holiday we're going to we're meeting my sister on the way home and my nephew thomas they're all these little goodies and they're cute and um, they're just little snacks so we got freaky fruits and fruit chews and berry fruit friends and silly vanillary and they're just little little snacky things but they are really tiny little small things like that so if I um, I probably won't be able to eat these, but I'm not going to test these. I'm going to try these with my sister and my nephew. I'm going to save that for them. And they're from Chewy Moon. Chewy Moon do these. Now I'm going to get on with some health work. Uh, it is, what day is it today? Oh, I have no clue. Oh, I'm hopeless. I don't know what day it is today, but I'm going to go clean the bathroom anyway, because that seems like the right thing to do today is clean the bathroom when you've got had something that's frustrating sometimes just scrub it away is a good way to get that frustrating shit out so that you can just keep moving forwards because you can't let the bad hold you back in life but you also need to speak out because there are other people who can't speak out and if you don't then who's speaking out for them so for that I'm going cleaning. tip for you when you have carers coming in that do help with some of your personal care um, make sure you have different colored towels and flannels um, for you and for your partner so I use blue and purple and John uses red and black the reason for this you have to remember the carer does not know or your husband or your partner has just washed or dried themselves with. They're not psychic. But colour coordination of towels and flannels is very helpful. The other thing we do is the towel rail for hand towels is a different colour. It's a chrome colour. Whereas the rails for our towels are blue, like our grab rails in the bathroom. So there are things you can do to help the carers, to help you and make life easier because these can then be put into the care plan of my towels are blue and purple, my towels are flowers are blue and purple and it says not to use anything but blue and purple on me, it says to use the blue on my bottom half and the purple on my top half and it just makes life easier and more pleasant because it isn't pleasant when you're being washed and dried with something that has been used on somebody else, trust me. It's hard. You got some fun stuff today, didn't you? Yeah, I did. It took me forever to get around to unboxing it. I was ready to unbox it. Um, and then when the carol was here earlier, Misty alerted us that I was going into a seizure. And um, so we had to 
we had to get my emergency medications into me to stop the seizure and then I had to wait for the grogginess to go before I could open the the uh, box. The box, yeah. But if you want to see that, you can check out the other video of me unboxing my Geeky Wizarding World. What was really cute though is, <laughs> I guess Lizzie's got really used to you being at home now, and whereas like last year you were working full time, so he was still yeah. used to the carers being here all the time, all the time, like he has done all our lives. But he's so used to you being here now that this time, after he alerted me to the seizure, and I was tucked under here to take, I was getting ready to take my afternoon mats, and I was tucked under here, so he couldn't jump on my lap to be able to start headbutting me. So he was jumping at the side of my chair, scratching my chair, headbutting my hand, he was screech meowing, which is that meow of, listen to me mom, listen, something's wrong. After I took the tablet, he calmed down and he went and sat over just a little bit away from me and just watched me for quite a while, um, making sure I was okay. And then he started doing the cutest little thing, because obviously before then I'd noticed he'd been following me, but he's been doing that for a few days because I've really not been well anyway. He's been following me everywhere I go. Even, yeah. even when I go for a wee, he's been sat next to the toilet. He's been that protective of me recently. The last few days. privacy of a cat. <laughs> He's just been that protective of me the last couple of days. But well, the really cute thing today was he tried to take me out of the front door. I thought maybe you know he wanted to go outside. Right. But no, he was trying. He was going back to, from like I, I went to open the front door, thinking okay maybe he just wants to go for a wee. I went to open the door and he's like, walks right back to me, walks to the door, walks right back to me, walks through. He wanted me to go with him. I think he was mm. trying to take me to you. He could have been. It was mm. so cute. Not that he knew where I was, he just knew <laughs> I wasn't here. And I was outside somewhere. So he was just being so, so good today. So he's going to have a super, super big treat of a tea tonight. He's going to have Sheba. He normally gets Tesco's or Felix food, but no, he's here. Uh, yeah, I can. I hear you, baby. Hello. Is Daddy home? We also wanted to let you know what we're up to this weekend. Obviously, John works Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so this last couple of days has been kind of a little bit boring for me, stuck in and... I hope I haven't bored you guys with the things I've been doing. Um, I hope I've kept you kind of as entertained as I've kept myself. Um, although I still find it boring being stuck in. Um, but this weekend, what are we planning to do this weekend, honey? Gotta have a date night tomorrow. Yeah, gonna have a date night. Been a long time since we have a date night. Yeah, we haven't been able to go on a date night for many many months because we were saving up for his second part of his visa so with just before christmas gotta go see a movie tomorrow go into town for a bit do a bit of shopping and go go see a movie and what are we doing sunday sunday we're going i forget what's called it's a it's national abbey something isn't it yeah abbey sea it's like that it's a, um, a, a national trust park we're gonna go there for the day Bring a little picnic, it's supposed to be nice and well, warmish, nice and warm. Lots of them anyway. Weather, you better not change out there. Oh, please don't. I am so fed up of being cooped in. I really am looking forward to nice weather on Sunday. Yeah, and, and we're going to record some, some, some video of us there. Try to rework our, our intro video a bit. As long as the weather stays as planned, nice. Yeah, it better. Yeah, better. But I mean, it's it's still early here now. It's it's what five thirty, six o'clock. Almost seven o'clock. Oh, okay, it's not as early as I thought. But I'm tired from the episode earlier and from everything I've done today. So we're gonna call it a night tonight. And um, yeah, I'm gonna finally actually attempt sleeping on my, back on my bed tonight as well see how i get go go with that 
Oh, I'm feeling like I think I'm gonna crash and burn. Well, not burn, just crash. Yeah. We will see you all tomorrow. Thank, Thank you, you for, for joining, joining us in our crazy, crazy world. world. Bye. See you, Misty. <laughs>